Hello, and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGB, and today in the arena, we're playing another take on food that is all in on the sacrifice mechanic and Korvald the Fey Cursed King. Combining Priest of the Forgotten Gods, Mayhem Devil, Korvald the Fey First King, and Wicked Wolf creates quite the sacrifice engine. Cauldron Familiar, Witch's Oven and Gilded Goose add with more permanence to sacrifice, and Dreadhorde Invasion makes it happen as well. Paradise Druid's important to stick the mana together and play our Wicked Wolf and our Korvold ahead of schedule, and Golden Egg is just a little bit of glue. Really, when the deck gets going, it's absolutely amazing. Cauldron, Fam Cauldron Familiar and Witch's Oven is a combo that has earned my respect, because while it's small incremental damage, it's kind of amazing uh, how much work these two cards can get done, basically invalidating anything without trample or flying on the ground, plus creating multiple sacrifice triggers over and over to make Mayhem De Devil deal more and more damage and make Chandra, the Acolyte of Flame, a very jealous card. Uh, Priest of the Forgotten Gods, of course, we kind of know how that goes, but you would be amazed how if you have a bunch of food, you can Wicked Wolf sack a lot of it to get a bunch of Mayhem Devil triggers and draw a card. This is absolutely a worthy card for the deck. Whenever this uh, Korvald Faker's King enters the battlefield or attacks, sacrifice any other permanent. Whenever you sacrifice a permanent, that's any time from any of these effects that you sacrifice a permanent, put a plus one plus one counter on Korvald and draw a card. This is nuts. This card is not available out of packs for the set. It's from the commander deck, so you have to search for it and craft him, but worth it and maybe the best flavor that there is transformed at his own wedding he promptly ate the banquet the gifts and the guests so get your corvolds if you want an absolutely wild ride with an amazing jun sacrifice deck i'm going to take you out and play some games quick mana base check we've got fabled passage stomping ground three temples on Malede, overgrown tomb blood crypt and a castle Garen Brig, which makes a whole bunch of mana that can be used to activate the abilities of creatures. And that includes pumping out tokens with Gilded Goose and casting Wicked Wolves. I don't know if it's necessary, but it's nice. One card you may have wanted was Once Upon a Time. I found it just too clunky to have to cast. This deck really needs to be on curve. It has to be casting Paradise Druid, Priest of the Forgotten Gods early. It has to be casting these cards on time and searching for them. Spending two mana on a card that didn't impact the battlefield was going negatively for me. So maybe it's too early to call it, but maybe Once Upon a Time is a little overrated. Anyway, we're still on the sponsored Wizards account, so thank you, Wizards, for sponsoring this stream. It's only the first day of the format. Me saying what is and isn't overrated is obviously a joke. We're still learning. But I hope you enjoy this video, and uh, yeah, I know you're going to enjoy this video. Let's go. Hello, recording issue. Picking it up mid-game. We're going to lead on a temple. Set this hand up. Don't need more lands for sure. Happy to send that to the bottom. Hand is a bit slow, but we do have potentially Goose into Wolf. We'll see how far ahead our opponent gets here. Fervent Champion gives plus one plus O to a knight when it attacks. So uh, that hurts. That is damage. I know my my fox is not happy. The fox is not happy. What else you got? Okay, stomping ground. Well, Goose. Turn the goose loose. Must be a disfigure our opponent might be holding that, or they are the masters of the full control mode. And we'll scry again. Digging and digging. All we've hit our land so far. This is kind of a land. It's also kind of a block on the death touch creature, which I suppose I need, and I don't have anything else to really play next turn unless I want to get the egg on the battlefield, which I'm not sure I do. But I guess I'll just take this as something to trade with one of my opponent's creatures. Okay, the goose is alive. Knight of the Evan Legion, of course. Of course. Why wouldn't we do that? Let's uh, try to absorb a damage from the champ. Take advantage of that two toughness on the goose. No, not Carnival Carnage. Oh, brutal. Okay. Well, 
We gotta play. We're gonna put out our Paradise Druid and block the Knight of the Ebon Legion. That will force the opponent to use their mana to save the Knight of the Ebon Legion. Then I can untap and use Wicked Wolf to fight the Knight of the Ebon Legion and kill it. As it's probably the most threatening thing to deal with. Plus we have a food token left over to keep this indestructible. I mean, okay. Interesting. I think the opponent just tried to shoot the Paradise Druid. So this doesn't give first strike. But none of my blocks here are good. I could trade with the Vampire, and then the opponent doesn't have a Death Toucher anymore. They're relying on their Fervent Champion. So I guess that's the best block I can make. I could also save my Paradise Druid, but I just don't really need the mana. I took it assuming I would... Uh, assuming I would fight something. So, all right. Yep, 2-3 now, but that won't be quite strong enough. Fable Package Siege we can save to go with Mayhem Devil because it could kill Fervent Champion immediately. So just in case we can get that lucky and draw it. Here is this. Wicked Wolf comes down, fights Knight. Resolve. And we have a food around for indestructibility should our opponent try to kill our Wicked Wolf. Footlight Fiend to the battlefield, sure. Anybody want to want to attack? No? Love it. Let's try the golden egg. More food on the battlefield makes the wolf even harder to kill. There's a priest of the forgotten gods. I guess I could get this online, but I have no interest in sacrificing my wolf anytime soon, so maybe the best play is to get the Dreadhorde invasion going. And then we'll play this tapped and pass the turn. So can we stabilize after a hot start from the opponent? They have a Theater of Horrors, which is a card that can get some incremental advantage. I do think we can overpower it, though. If we draw some non-land cards, where's Korvald when you need it? Oh, Temple. All right. A lot of land, my friends. Um, We have two pieces of food and no food engine. Do I want a Cauldron Familiar? I guess so. To go with this priest, right? Your turn. Hold on to your butts. One with a mountain under the theater. As ghost form. Whenever the enchanted permanent dies or is put into exile, return it to the battlefield. Hype. That is pretty good against Priests of the Forgotten Gods, but we may as well make the opponent trade here and point the damage to our face and get the Ghost Form out of the way. It's an interesting take there. The opponent, one damage, down to eight. Remember we can sack the food for life. I don't know how many times I'm going to say that while we're getting used to what food does, but it does seem like a, a prudent move on my part. Let's play the Cauldron Familiar. And we're going to use this priest, but before I do, let's attack with our 2-2 and see how the opponent wants to play this. Hey Alright, block. Let's see where you point the damage from the fiend. Okay, in response. I has responses. Target you, sacrifice our creatures. This way we get both of our opponent's creatures out of the way. Another land. What is happening to me? So I want to use these foods to get back the familiars. Which is too bad. What is going on? End turn. And ghost form under the theater. What else does the opponent have? They reached five mana. What can they do? It's an Ilharg the Raze Boar, which lets the opponent cheat creatures onto the battlefield. What is going on? All right, well, we can bring it back now just so that this uh, Cauldron Familiar doesn't have summoning sickness. Drains for one. Now we make another creature, which means the priest is online. No sense in attacking here. <laughs> wow, the flood. The flood is extreme at this point. 
Where's a witch's oven when you need one? Boar, out of there. Corvold is finally here. So what's the play? The play is to go crazy. Here's Corvold. Corvold enters the battlefield. Sacrifice another permanent to draw a card. I think I have plenty of land. I could also sacrifice the invasion, but I don't like that. Um, yeah. The swamp, you're out of there. Draw a card. Another cauldron familiar. All right, we play the fabled passage and we go get another land. The sacrifice triggers Corval. Draw a card. Oh my lord. <laughs> All right. Let's get back a cauldron familiar by sacrificing this egg. Draw a card. There's a mayhem devil, a very late one. We'll go ahead and play you. And you. Why not? Our opponent might pull something off here. It would be a pretty epic board clear, but Corvold explodes onto the battlefield and lays out just an epic board. Theater goes upstairs, but this is about to get ugly. All right, Goose makes a food. Let's see just how much crazy we can do this turn. Target the opponent. Submit. Cauldron familiars to the graveyard. Maybe we can draw a witch's oven or something. Trigger mayhem devil. Trigger Corvold. Draw two. There's the food. There's the dread horde invasion. Let the let the party begin. Oh, don't leave. There's so much we can do. I want to go crazy. I want my deck to go nuts. Let the cats go wild. Let the cats run wild, everybody. So much mania. All right, go, go, baby, go. Poor kitty. Kitty got nommed. <laughs> And behold, the power of sacrifice. Uh, special thank you to Benvolio if you're out there watching for letting me play that through. Right, no witch's oven, but two cats and a priest is hard to turn down. Hard to turn down. A to life, let's get cats. Get them. Sick him. Get him, little fella. This could be a turn three Cor... No, turn four Corvald. Can't do turn three. We don't have two critters. Scry to the top, okay. Priest, let's go. Hey yeah The cat's getting in the work. All right, Wall of Lost Thoughts, start milling yourself. Some kind of a combo deck. All right, some kind of a food combo deck, probably trolling. All right, what's the play? We're probably gonna have to use the passage here this turn, but we can do this. Drain ya. Submit, sack sack. Bye bye kitties. Mana, card, mayhem, devil, sweet. And we can pass the turn because when we sacrifice this, we do get to do a damage to something. So the opponent might play something worth damaging. Giant opportunity, three food, all right. I mean, we don't have a troll king down here, right? Right. All right, ping him in the face. Let's get another, we have two greens, so let's get another black. Now, how do we get enough familiars here? 
Let's launch the egg. We definitely want to leave a black open in case we draw one more familiar. Ugh. Brutal. Alright. Sacrifice you. Bring out a cat. Deal a damage to the face. Yeah. And uh, getting the mana here, I don't think is quite worth it. So we'll pass one more turn. But stalling out, drawing our expensive cards, not great. Our opponent has a Wicked Wolf. Wicked Wolf is going to fight what? We're going to make them sacrifice the wolf. Let's just let them make choose their target here. All right, the priest. But in response, shoot you with that priest. Bang and bang. Life total will be low, but our board is pretty screwed up now. Down to five, another devil. A fight that doesn't matter, no food. And there's the, f there's the fourth land. So I guess we'll swing in with this priest, send out a wolf of our own with no food to feed it. Heartbreaking. Poor, poor Wolfie. Poor boy. He's a good pupper. What happened to my music, by the way? It's supposed to be on. We've been having this issue. I keep on checking on it, but there you go. There you go. The Wicked Wolf strikes down my Wicked Wolf. But can we get there? This I think can do it, because what we can do is fight our opponent's Wicked Wolf and then get in for one. Our, mm. Right? Whenever a permanent is sacrificed, this deals a damage. That's also interesting. So the opponent could sacrifice their food, but they take one damage for it. But if we fight here, the opponent sacks a food. They put a counter on this, but they tap it. We knock our opponent down to one. They may have to sacrifice these to stay alive, but if we put out a Mayhem Devil, they're in trouble. It's a tough spot. Very tough spot. Let's go for it. Let's try to limit this food. Let's use tempo, my friends. Now the opponent has to sacrifice and tap. Then if I'm right, we can decline the fight, can't we? Nope. Not optional. And it does say up to one, but... Apparently, I do have to uh, stick with the fight once the card enters the battlefield. Down to one. Now we do have, the opponent has to remember that their food can gain life. But now we've basically got a good food tax and a mana tax on them. It's gonna make this whole thing awkward. Four lands. The oven? Brutal. Brutal. And gaining life now so that I can't kill them in response with some shenanigans. Makes sense. Good idea. And getting ad aggressive. Ooh. Okay. Fabled Passage. Here's Mayhem Devil. Resolves. Let's try attacking the opponent. I'm sure the wall will block, but we can kill it. Here you see the beauty of the passage. Sacrifice, trigger mayhem devil. Target the wall of lost thoughts. The opponent can sack it to the oven. That triggers the mayhem devil again, so I get another damage in. And we head upstairs. All right, green mana is good. We only need one red untapped, so here comes the golden egg. We can sacrifice the golden egg, that's two damage, but it's not three. <laughs> if we bring this back, it puts the opponent to one, and if they sacrifice a food, they die. Should we just do that now? I think we should. Then that way, if they sacrifice a permanent, they is dead. Ow! 
Down to one. <laughs> They'll have to kill the devil. Game. Oof. All right, we're on the plate of the Paradise Druid, so it's a keep. Druid into Wolf. That is how we flex. Okay. Leyline of Combustion, two damage to me whenever I target one of their things. Oh god. Oh god, is it the opponent or their thing? Whenever you, or at least one, oh my god. So dead. We're so dead. Um, I mean, you're, you're nice. Let's get the druid down. We're still probably going to wolf fight something. Shock land ourselves. Shock ourselves to use the wolf fight. Oof. This cauldron familiar has work to do. We need an oven. We need an oven fast. We gotta throw this cat straight in the oven. Okay, our opponent found land. Whatever. The castle. You betcha. Mono red. Just being. Even more degenerate than it's ever been. I'll, I mean, that's that's fine. You want to skewer me there? That's okay. Hmm. I could put out the egg in the familiar. But I like saving that till the Curse King can come online. Let's go ahead and pay the two life. This might be suicidal. But we gotta do something. Down to 11. We do get Corvald next turn. Even if our opponent has something in the air. We are strong. No one can tell us we're wrong. Searching our hearts for so long. Champion returns. Second champion. <laughs> Getting in there. Do not give a crap. All right. Just three, three fervent champions pumping each other up. How about that? And a skewer down to six. <laughs> Lovely. So the Mayhem Devil is super awkward because anytime we target our opponent's things, we take two damage. So I have to be more concerned with gaining life than targeting things. So here's a Cauldron Familiar. And here's a golden egg, which we can sacrifice to draw a card at some point. This targets the opponent, so that's not good. I guess we still put it out, though. All right, get me a green. If we play the Mayhem Devil, we're either gonna end up targeting our own stuff or dying from the Ley Line. It's super awkward. But this can sacrifice for life, and we might just need it. So do I block here and then bring it back with the cauldron? Or do I keep this as indestructible? I feel like we have to clock our opponent, right? And I can also put out the priest. We gotta clock our opponent. We're just gonna die if we sit here. Robber of the Rich, sure. It's going to exile a card. And the opponent will be able to play it. Let's see what they get. Land, perfect. Let's just double block it. I'm not going to miss the priest and I'm not going to activate it because I end up taking two damage. So the priest has to go anyway. I think the opponent will kill it. So this is fine. All right, my turn. We play this tapped. We play you, sacrifice the cat, bring the cat back. It's not bad. Yeah, let's open with that. Here's Corvald. Bye bye kitty. Draw a goose. Would love to play it this turn, but can't. But that is nice fuel for next turn. We also draw a card when we play the Cauldron Familiar, so maybe I should have brought that back first and drawn a card with the egg, and then maybe I could have played the Goose. 
But I like keeping this around because I like the indestructibility. Let's keep clocking them. We can have two blockers if we need it, thanks to the Cauldron Familiar. All right, you ready, Foxy? Are we going to do this? We're going to pull it off against a ley line of combustion. Three fervent champions, two skewer the critics to the face. The heck of a deck. Mono red, always a challenge. Whatever the format, wherever I am, bone crusher giant hitting my face. Okay. That means now you're casting bone crusher. Yep. All right. Well, we can at least alleviate the summoning sickness from this by bringing it back now. Another familiar, excellent. All right, can we get 12 damage through? At some point, I kind of am like this mayhem devil could do the job, but by God, we take two damage for every point of damage we shoot at the opponent. We could sacrifice the devil itself. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh my god, it's so close. It's so close. I'm sure I can do it. I'm just not sure how. 11. Gilded Goose. Alright. Mayhem. Devil. If it gets too low, we'll just have to point the damage at ourselves. All right, attack, sacrifice the cat, right? I guess we have all these attackers. And we sacrifice this cat. We can take out the fervent champion. That removes a blocker, so it gets at least another few points through. You guys will tell me later just how badly I played this. But, target you, take two. Eleven to five, here's the block. So the opponent, it, that takes eleven. The opponent has to block here. All right, we bring back the cat. Sacrifice of food. Point the mayhem devil at the face. Leyline takes us to three. Drain from the cat. Yes. Oh my goodness, team math. Put me on the math squad. I'm so bad. <laughs> oh my goodness, this deck is insane. I hope you enjoyed the sacrifice deck. It was good enough to make me want to use those mythic wild cards on Korvald. I can't believe how many games I've pulled off and the crazy things this deck can do. It's a ton of fun. If you have the mythics, I recommend it. And yeah, Korvald, maybe not just for Brawl. Thank you for watching this video. As always, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs>